In this exercise, we're simply going to introduce ourselves to Photoshop by working through the built-in Learn tutorial panel. I'm on the uh, Photoshop splash screen right now, and I'll just click the Photoshop icon up in the corner here to get into the software. And we need to access the Learn panel. If you don't see it over here in the panels as a choice, all your panels will always be under the window pull-down menu. And if I just go down here to Learn, it should pop it up for me. And there it is there. And I can actually close some of these because I had them open before. There we are. It typically will come with a few sections as you see here and they may change from version to version. But whatever version we're working on in class, we will go through it. So again, you can see here there are little sections with little prompts here for opening up the panel. And you can see I've gone through some of these by seeing the check marks. So what you'll do is you'll just click on the first one and what happens is it launches the artwork for you to work with and simply follow the prompts. So it's pretty, I won't say mindless because I want you to pay attention to what you're actually doing, but it's very safe if you will. And if you do make a mistake, it will prompt you that you've made a mistake with a red prompt and just follow the appropriate instructions. So let me just as an example click through a couple of these here on the very first one called Welcome to Photoshop. And it's opened up an image here and I can see over here in my layers panel there are a number of layers. Now I'll just let you know that you can make adjustments to these panels if need be. But your defaults may be fine. So anyway back to the uh, instructions here. I'll click next and what it does is it pops up some instructions and also a live prompt here with the blue button as you saw. And it's asking me to turn off the eye icon next to the room layer which is happens to be the top layer here. So if I click that, I can see that that layer is now hidden. And if you read the instructions, it will say so. And it's prompting me to click next to get to the next step in the process here. And click and drag the astronaut to move around. So by default, you should be on the move tool here. And I can move this as well out of the way as well. And I can move our buddy here around and that's all it's trying to tell me to do and I click next so basically just keep following the prompts click next until you get through all of them and uh, I'll simply come around the room and check that all your check marks are done you should be saving these files as well and it will prompt you to do so so I would say say create a folder on your desktop call it lesson one or day one and save all of your files in there accordingly Okay, so now it's telling me to click the galaxy. So we'll do that so that we can edit that particular layer. So I'm clicking galaxy. It wants me to lower the opacity to around 25%. Now the galaxy is down in the corner here. So here's our opacity slider. So it's basically an introduction to a number of the functions that you will see, the most widely functions that you'll tend to use. So if I bring that down, you can see that galaxy is going down quite a bit. And even if I get close, it will prompt me to the next step. And as you can see here again, the opacity has been lowered significantly. And on to the next step. Click next to continue. There we go. So I do, as I said, want you to go through all of these. And when you're completed, you can let me know. And of course, if you need any help at all, I'm here to help you with this. All right. And this will just be a, an introduction before we get into much more formalized lessons as we move on from here. And that is uh, your exercise that I'm asking you to do today.